Hey everybody, it's Alex from Native Scripting. All right, let's talk about the elephant in the room, shall we? I've been posting all these videos here and I've been creating Native Script courses on nativescripting.com, but how did I get to a place where I can run Native Script apps locally? There's a big scary installation of prerequisites that has to take place. This is the native toolchain, and sometimes it could be a little scary and it doesn't always go really well, does it? In this video, I'm going to use the full setup instructions on nativescript.org, not the quick setup, the full setup, and specifically the advanced setup for Windows. These are the exact steps I will follow, and then we'll see what happens and how quickly I can get up and running. Now to demonstrate this properly, I went ahead and got myself one of these middle of the line E480 laptops from Lenovo. It's factory fresh. The only thing I added to it was Chrome. So we're going to install native script from scratch, including all the prerequisites required to run an Android development environment right here on this machine. Install native script. Okay, now I know that not everyone starts out with a clean slate like this. But that's exactly why I want to go through this step by step. Each section of the installation is divided into individual scripts. And if you already have Node installed, then don't install Node. You can skip that step. All right, ready? Let's do this. We'll start out at this advanced setup windows guide. And we're just going to do step by step here. The first step says to install Chocolatey. Make sure you run the command prompt as administrator. So I'm going to copy this line right here, this PowerShell command. And instead of just right clicking on the command prompt, which won't give us what we want, we want to hold down shift and then right click. And then we have this run as administrator option so we can open it up as an administrator. You can always verify that you're running as administrator by looking at the title of this window that says administrator command prompt. Here I'm going to paste in the command that we copied and run it. This first command installs a program called Chocolatey. And we're going to use Chocolatey similar to the way we use NPM to install other dependencies. Now, there's going to be a number of steps that we're going to take, all following the documentation on the NativeScript website. Some of these steps might take a while to execute, so I will fast forward or pause the video so you don't have to watch the whole thing happening. All right, Chocolatey's done installing. Let's proceed to the next step, which is installing Google Chrome. Even though I've already installed Google Chrome, I'm going to go ahead and use Chocolatey to install it. I'll close and reopen the command prompt as administrator and paste in this Choco install Google Chrome command. All right, that's done. The next step is to install the latest Node LTS or long term support package. Let's copy and paste that command in and Chocolatey will go ahead and download and install Node LTS. When I recorded this video, it looks like the latest version is 10.14.2. Next, we're going to install the JDK 8. Let's copy that line and paste it in here and execute that. This one's going to take a little bit of time to download and install. Step five is install the Android SDK. Well, let's go ahead and do that one. This one's also going to take a little bit of time. So let's fast forward. OK, moving on. The next step is important. Make sure you restart your command prompt because we've just installed a couple of environmental variables that are going to be used in the next step. Restarting the command prompt will ensure that these variables are loaded into the command prompt. I'm going to copy the command for step six, open up the command prompt as administrator and paste in this new command. This will install the rest of our Android prerequisites. We're going to install the emulator, platform tools, build tools, and a bunch of other stuff for Android. This will also take a bit of time. Once that's complete, step seven is to install Android virtual devices. Copy that line, and let's go ahead and execute that. So this wants to install the Android emulator. I'm gonna say yes. If you try to install this whole process on a virtual machine, at this point, this will fail because one of the steps of setting up an Android emulator is using Intel Hardware Acceleration Execution Manager. And this only runs on native hardware. So that's why we're installing this whole thing on a real machine. Believe me, I've tried installing this on virtual machine many times and it fails every time. And we do want this to run on hardware so that we get full hardware acceleration on our Android emulators. Okay, now that's done, let's go on with the next step. And this is uh, optional. I like to have Android Studio installed personally, so that's why I'm gonna go ahead and install it here. Android Studio gives you another look into debugging your NativeScript apps by having special monitoring and performance tools that are really helpful. 
maybe I'll make some videos on Android performance testing later on. Anyway, let's continue with our installation. Once that's done, let's terminate and restart our command prompt one more time. And guess what? We're done with our prerequisites. Now we just need to install NativeScript itself. Let's use npm to install the NativeScript CLI globally. When it's done, let's go ahead and reopen the command prompt one more time. In order to check our installation, we can issue the command TNS doctor. TNS is the shortcut for NativeScript CLI. TNS doctor is a command that you issue to check the environment and make sure everything is set up correctly. So this says no issues were detected. And that's what we want to see. Now let's take everything out for a spin, shall we? I'm going to clear everything here and create a code directory where all my code is going to live. Now I'll just use the TNS create command to create a brand new application project. Uh, this is a native script core application project. And I'm going to give it the dash dash TSC flag. It's application core with TypeScript. The TNS command completes and the application project has been successfully created. Let's CD into that directory. And I'm going to issue the TNS run Android command to build our hello world application that was generated by the CLI and to start it up in an Android emulator. Now, this is a pretty slow machine that I have here. So it's going to take a little bit of time to get going. Your mileage may vary. And here I got a message that says cannot find connected devices. So it looks like it timed out my first time around. So I'm going to issue the command TNS device. This will allow me to see what devices are currently connected. My emulator is listed here and it is connected. So I'm going to try this again. TNS run Android while the emulator is already running. Okay, now it looks like it's actually detected the Android emulator and it's building. The first time you build for Android on a slow machine might take a little bit of time. And you can watch the clock right here. I'm going to fast forward, of course. And after about almost four minutes, our app gets completely built and installed on the Android emulator. And there's the app and you can interact with the Hello World app. Okay, to quit the running process, you can press Control C. And subsequent Android emulator runs are just going to take a lot less time to do. We've already pre-built everything. And anytime we make changes to our application, things are just going to take much less time. Now, one of the nice things here is that we can also edit the code while the app is running and see our changes applied live in the emulator. So here I'm going to go ahead and open my code folder and I'm going to find this main view model code file. I'm just going to pop it open in notepad and make a quick edit here. So instead of starting at 42, my counter is going to start at 500. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And you can see in the background, my app refreshed and we started at 500 taps left. Okay, great. Now we have a functional Android environment on Windows and we can build our apps locally using the emulator. Okay, so that took about 22 minutes and I installed this on a Core i5 8th generation with 8 gigs of RAM. So I'd imagine if you have a faster machine, it'll take a little bit less time. If you have more RAM, it'll take less time. But the whole installation was a lot easier than it used to be. I also have this Mac right here. This is a MacBook Pro. This is not my regular machine, but it's fresh. It doesn't have any native script on it. We're going to do this next. So keep an eye out on this channel and make sure you subscribe. And I'll show you how to do that in another video. All right. Till next time. See you later.